Hi. Um, first question I have, you're a secretary general of the Yeah. Um, could you tell me what was your favorite part of your part standing out in your role? Ooh, my favorite part of the card ceremony? Well, I remember looking at the card and saying, man, I've been, <laughs> I've been working years to get this thing. And uh, just how special that was. I thought uh, it definitely made me reminisce of the journey that it took me to get to um, just have a PJ Tour card and um, have the opportunity. So I loved my time on the Corn Ferry Tour. I learned a lot. I learned how to travel. I learned how to win, uh, compete at a high level. And, um, and I proved to myself that I'd, uh, I, I, take, I have what it takes to play on the PJ Tour. Oh. Ooh, jealous of the swing. I mean, Scotty. I mean, that's got to be the answer. He's the best ball striker in the world. So, Scotty. Yeah, the footwork is wild, but it it works. I mean, it more than works. He always, you know, he knows what he's doing. And um, when you watch Scotty, sometimes it's like, to me, it's a thing of beauty. Most people are making fun of his footwork, and I'm like, that's athletic. That, I mean, that's athleticism at its best. The guy is just uh, absolutely incredible. So. Oh, least likely? Ooh. Who we got on there? Uh, probably Keegan. He's the oldest, and uh, I don't know if our, our music style would match. I, I'm pretty easy to please, but I don't think I'm going to be giving it to him. <laughs> Thanks. What's up? Yeah, I mean, we're all very comfortable with Furyk. That's that's for sure. Um, he's he's great as a captain. He's great to have as a captain. He's very proactive. He's very open. He wants us to be open with him. And any time that we feel like uh, I think we're vibing with a partner, I think that's information that he definitely wants to know. Yeah, there's no question. So the vibe has definitely been a lot of fun. This, we have a nice young group of guys, so some new guys. Anytime you have new guys, you're always going to get kind of a fresh perspective on how cool it is to be here. Even for me, this is my third now, my fifth International Cup just um, team event playing for the U.S. And it never gets old for me, but I, I definitely am reminded how cool it is when I see these rookies and their eyes are just so wide and I can tell they're just loving every part of it. So, yeah, I know. It didn't feel like it was long ago at all, but I'm kind of looked at it as like a veteran now, which is just wild to me. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, good to be here. Thanks. No. Yeah. My older three get in tonight with our nanny, and my brother's coming down to watch. He'll be watching his first cup. So, yeah, it's be fun to have him out, no doubt. Yeah, T-Mobile in the house. Oh, yeah, that's right. What up? Good, how are you? The week's been great. It's been a lot of fun being around this team. It's a different, uh, different type of chemistry than any other team I've been a part of. I think guys seem to be a lot more loose, and um, I think we have some rookies that are just excited to be here and play and bring that cool chemistry to the team. So I'm, I'm having a great time, and... Uh, we've, we've been having a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah, no doubt. I like I like that we've been able to mix it up a little bit, and we've pretty much played with everybody on our team throughout the last few days of practice. So it's fun to be able to. to uh, these practice rounds are just a lot of fun. We have some matches, um, you know, a little bit of a little bit of gambling going on out there. But um, overall, we're all just trying to sharpen each other to get ready for tomorrow. And I think we've I think we've done that. Yeah, I think it's a great setup for our team. It's got some length to it, um, depending if the wind blows. Uh, but overall, I think it's a proper 
it's going to be a proper test. You know, it seems like a ball striker type of golf course, and the greens are so pure. I think you're going to see some putts made for sure, and um, I think those strengths kind of are the strengths of our team. So I think we'll bode well. Yeah. Yeah, there's no question. Uh, we had our hands full the last two, you know, the, the two that I've been a part of. I know the record says that we're dominant, but I know our last two were tough. We had to play great. You have to earn them. You know, that's the thing, you know, and I think that's none of all of our guys know that our record doesn't mean anything. This is a new President's Cup and we have to approach it in that in that light. You know, we got to go out and perform and and earn the cup back, or, or earn the cup and, and keep the cup. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm at. I'm at even. I'm at even. I didn't. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. They've had. Uh, we've had some nice matches. Yeah. We'll just say that. I think, like I was just uh, saying, saying to Andrew, um, we're all just kind of sharpening each other, yeah. and having matches over the last few days. We've mixed up, you know, mixed up the the groups a little bit, um, and it's been fun. We've all kind of played each other at this point over the last few days, and um, it's nice to just, I think, be sharp and play against each other. <laughs> yeah, we're just doing our own. But all the captains, all the captains are gambling on the side for sure. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. All the captains are, yeah, they got their side bets going. And I mean, Xander's wild. You know, Xander is like, he'll bet on everything. So he's, you know, he's kind of like doing his doing his gambling with the squad, with the captains. I mean, he's, you know, 50 foot putt. So Xander's so much fun. He's wild. Snedeker made it sound like he's going to build the second house off. <laughs> No, uh, they have a they have a bet going against each other. Oh, just uh, but it's like the most random thing. It's like hit this bunker shot. If you don't hit it inside five feet, you know you owe me two hundred dollars. You know, and and Alexander's like, well, I'll take you two for one, right? So all of a sudden it's four hundred dollars, and it's like, yeah, that adds up pretty fast. If you're doing five hundred dollars a shot, that adds up pretty fast. Do you, do you like that? I mean, like, is that part of your? Is that part of the deal coming up? Like sometimes you're playing guys who just Yeah, if guys want to have a match, I never I never shy away from a match. There's no question. Yeah, so especially in. In an event like this, you know, guys are going to want to have a match, and um, to me, it's the best way to prepare. You know, it's simulate some pressure, and again, I think that's what we've been doing as a team. We've been having matches and trying to get ourselves just properly prepared to, to start tomorrow. Yeah, I, I think they have a lot of strengths. They have a lot of great players, um, and I, I would say one of their strengths is their leadership. They have a couple guys that have played in quite a few. And Adam Scott and Jason Day, they're going to be able to lead that team. Hideki, you know, they got some guys that can lead some of these younger guys. So, But overall, I mean, they have a great team on that side. And we know we're going to have to play and perform if we're going to win the Cup this week. Yeah, Jason's been winning this game for a long time now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, fortunately for me, I you know, the last two cups that I played in the pres last two Presidents Cups, they were hard. They were hard, you know, hard-fought wins for us, and so we know how hungry they are to win a Presidents Cup, and especially with this team, and you know, having it be Mike Weir in Canada, you know, it's a big deal for them. So we know that going in, and again, this is a new Presidents Cup. It doesn't matter the record. We've been dominant on the U.S. side, but this is a whole different week, a whole different cast, a whole different team. So we uh, try to put our best foot forward, and, and we got to earn it. Yeah, we hope it holds up, but uh, whatever you know, whatever comes, we'll be re we'll be ready to rock. Yeah, yeah, I, I would even start at 13. Yeah, par three, it's a good par three. You know, today we're hitting six iron. Last couple of days we hit four and five iron, depending on where the wind is. So um, you can get some momentum changes on that hole because it's a long par three, and then you got 14, 15, 16, and 17 all with and 18 all with water. So. I think it's a really cool golf course that way, where there's no water in play, and then the last five holes there's water in, on every hole. So that's where the action is going to be, and that's definitely the meat of the course. Yeah. <laughs> well, I I feel like uh, I'm the one that just kind of I guess I'm the glue. I guess I'm more of like the glue and the gel. The, make everybody stick you know I think uh, I, yeah, I have a lot of great friends I have a lot of guys I don't know as well but uh, 
I seem to be the one that uh, floats around and, and gets along with everybody and, and has, you know, and just making sure I think just to bring my good energy and my good vibes. You know, I've been part of these teams before and um, I know that that goes a long way. No matter how you're playing, you want to have the energy of a champion and, uh, and I try to bring that no matter what. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's funny you bring that up. You know, I don't know that any of us are thinking about next year. You know, I think we're so focused on this week and he's a player this week. You know, he's not a captain. So um, it's funny. I, I played with him yesterday and I forgot he was even going to be a captain next year. So. Um, I think we're all looking at him this week as a player, and uh, he is, and he's going to, you know, he's playing great golf. We need him on our team. He's, um, you know, hopefully going to help us, you know, win, win the Cup this week. Well, it, to me, it doesn't really, it really doesn't, it really doesn't matter. You know, I, I, if most likely we're probably the favorites because of our record and um, having the two best players in the world. But this is match play, you know, this is not stroke play. All of our rankings are off of stroke play. And so that's the thing that, you know, people have to understand is match play is a whole different animal. And uh, we're, again, we're, we know our record and how good it is, but this is a different President's Cup. So we got to just be focused on this one and, and we got to earn our way to the win. Thanks. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Uh, All right. You're welcome to, like, go see the front of the talk to you. Do I need to press the red? Yeah, you can record. That's okay. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. Chick-fil-A. Uh, that's pretty high. But uh, for most people, I'm going to get a lot of hate after this, by the way, but it's all good. Let's go... Uh, we're going number six, Chick-fil-A number six. What do I do, just click it again? Sorry, I said Chick-fil-A number six. And then, oh, I have to click on six. Oh, okay, perfect. Oh, Wendy's, yeah, Wendy's I'm gonna go with. I, I love me some Wendy's. I'm going five with Wendy's. Ooh, Panda. We'll go seven. Seven Panda Express. Taco Bell. My wife's gonna hate me, but Taco Bell's not high on my list. So we're going. We're going nine. I'm sure there's something there I'll hate more. Yeah, McDizzy. We're going at number two. The breakfast is just incredible. I'm gonna get so much hate for number one. By the way, I already know what's number one. All right, In and Out. Yeah, that's number three. Subway is number four. The tuna, the tuna sandwich at Subway is my favorite. Yeah, Arby's is ten. Sorry, Arby's. Krispy, Krispy Kreme will go eight. Burger King, please. Oh, Popeyes. Okay, that's fine. I love me a fried chicken with some white rice. Give me some ketchup. We'll be ready to rock. There's my rankings. Messi. <laughs> yeah. No yeah, Messi. Yep, yep. You. you got it. What's up, Bob? How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. I think it all well. I think it all just boils down to expectation. I think because uh, our U.S. side has been so dominant in the Presidents Cup, uh, 
we expect to win. You know, I think, and that's that's the feel we get from everybody. You know, and and I think we have similar feelings when it comes to the Ryder Cup. But because it is so competitive, and we have been beat on our side, um, I think that that's tarnished just slightly. So I would say that's pretty much what I see or feel as far as, as the differences competing and um, having watched the guys last year. It definitely seems like there's just that extra extra pressure um, and yeah it's just a little it's just yeah but they, they are different though there's no question that there are two totally different tournaments uh, same format could be the same guys but uh, yeah I don't yeah we've had we've had great success in the President's Cup and um, you know the Ryder Cup not quite as great yeah so yeah, I, I've talked about this before with some of my buddies, but I think having a four-day event is a huge advantage to the better team, I would say. You, ha you add one extra match, and I think that's a big deal because we're playing match play. It's not stroke play. If, this, if both tournaments were stroke play events, uh, I, I think our record would be in the same in the President's Cup and probably better in the Ryder Cup. But because of our rankings, our rankings are all stroke play, but this is match. You know, match play is a whole different... Vibe. It's a whole different game. So for that reason, the more matches you play, the better team will end up winning. So I think in the President's Cup, one extra match is a, one extra day is a big deal, and it's proved that I think with with the format here. Well, I just think I think they should be the same. Yeah, I think you know that, that's why it's hard. It's hard to compare the President's Cup and um, and the Ryder Cup. Well, just just because I think the one extra day. I think has helped in the in the President's Cup. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I, yeah. I think there should be. I think it should be four days. It should be four double matches a day. I think it should be four days, and it should be two matches per day. And I think that. All I'm saying is, you know, I think that the better team will win the more matches that are played, and most of the time we have the better team. When it doesn't when it doesn't match up, you know, match play is just a whole different game, and so, you know, at the end of the day, history is what it is. We've got five matches, you know, in both, and uh, it's it's bit us in the butt a little bit in the Ryder Cup, but um, it is what it is. Uh, I will say, having it be competitive, the Ryder Cup has been extremely beneficial, and the President's Cup hasn't been as competitive. That's the only reason why it isn't as big. If it starts to be competitive, I think it's going to be a huge tournament, bigger than it is now. And, I, and I'm not saying, but we all know that it's not as big as the Ryder Cup. Say again? Yeah, it sucked. It sucked a lot. And I, I would say it's one of the tougher points in my career. I was at a place in my career where I, um, I thought I was in a place to get a pick, and I didn't play well enough to get that, and it stung a lot. So... Being able to, I feel like it was kind of a redemption tour this year. Even though I didn't get a win, I was really proud of the way I played the second half of the season to prove, I think, that I, be I belong on this team. And so I was happy to be able to do that over the second half of this past season. Yeah, no, we look at him as a player. I just played with him yesterday. That was funny. I got asked the same question earlier. And... Uh, Keegan's looked at his player this week, and I, I kind of sp actually spaced out that he was going to be a captain next year. Um, we need him as a player this year. You know, he's a great player. He's playing great. Some of the best golf on our team over the last couple months. So he's going to bring, he brings great energy, great leadership, um, and just great game. So we're going to need him. So were you surprised when he was named? Yeah, I would say I was surprised, but as I thought about it, it made a lot of sense. Yeah, like I definitely was surprised, but. Um, Keegan's awesome. He's going to do a great job, and he's very passionate about everything he does. And so he, there'll be no stone left unturned when it comes to him being a captain. So. Oh, yeah, Northern Trust. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man, I feel like there was, I felt more joy 
in winning these team events, especially the way we did it in Melbourne. You know, we were down the whole week, and then in singles we came back and won right at pretty much right at the end. I was able to flip my match. A couple other guys won their match when they needed it. That was some type of vibe, you know. Like I, I don't know that, uh, you know. And then whistling straights, I would say is about as cool as it gets, you know. Like I, I lost my match against Ian Poulter, and. That was tough, but I just remember being able to hang out with the guys, and I had so much fun. I almost forgot about it. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, did I feel like I cost them? Yeah. No, I mean, I played really nicely. You know, I think I was only one of three guys that had a winning record. And so I feel like I played really nicely. But, um, man, they just played incredible. You know, that's, and at the end of the day, we had, um, we just, we didn't play, we didn't execute. You know, and that's the thing, having been on both sides, losses and wins, uh, playing in these cups, none of them can be taken for granted. That's, I think that's the experience and any of the message that I have for the guys um, having experiences. The record doesn't matter. All the record in the past doesn't matter. We have a chance to write our own our own record this week, and we have to earn it. Yeah, with this team, you have to earn it. You know, it doesn't matter how good our record is in the President's Cup. At some point, they're going to start winning some President's Cups. It's going to happen. Like that's, we're not going to play this many, and I obviously want the Americans to win the next 50. It's not going to happen. They're going to start. We don't want that team to be against us. So that's the message this week, and. And we'll just continue to do our thing. Speaking of that trend, is there any part of this that feels bad for Adam Scott who just played with ten of these and never experienced it inside? Yeah, no. Yeah, that is a long stretch. That's that's just tough luck, you know, at the end of the day. Um, no, I mean Adam Adam's an incredible guy. As a competitor, I don't feel bad for him. I'm on this side, you know, like, you know, and, and Adam um, Adam has played some some great golf and I'm sure he has some President's Cups where he had a winning record and the team loses, so you can't really solely blame it, you know, on Adam. These are team events. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, I'm on the U.S. side, and and for this week, you know, we, we don't want those any of those guys to win. So at the end of the day, as a competitor, it's like we, we, we want him to have another loss at the end of this week. As Sanders said, whoever kills bad for Adam Scott. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, that's, that's exactly, that's, that's well put. <laughs> Yeah, Black Desert. No, I'm not playing it this year, um, but I, I hope the tournament goes great. It's really cool to have a tournament in Utah again. Um, it's been years, and uh, in the future, for sure, I'll, I'll play. Are you under any pressure? Yeah, I was under quite a bit of pressure, but my, my son is actually playing a national event, or else I would have really considered, you know, taking the week to play. But, uh, I'm, yeah, I can't miss my son's. PJ Junior League in Frisco. Yeah, Junior National Championship, so. He's rep- yeah, he's representing Team USA or Team Utah, 13 and under. His pops, yeah, yeah, his pops, you know. Uh, but I'm getting to a place where it's like, yeah, I might have to find him a teacher now. You know, he's 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 not listening as well as he did when he was younger. That's exactly how it works. I know exactly how it was. So I'm like, yeah, he's about, he's right at that age now where you know, old man doesn't know what he's talking about anymore. So. Yeah. Yeah, Boyd's Boyd's given him a couple lessons, but I've pretty much, yeah, yeah, I've pretty much just taken the reins on that, and and I've loved doing it. Um, but with my time constraints and how much how committed he is now, I'm gonna have to find him somebody for sure that can work with him. Ooh, no, yeah. Yeah, well, I teach him that he needs to work. He needs to learn hard work and preparation. You know, no matter where the state of your game is, what's going to get it, get you out of a funk is being disciplined enough to work hard and being prepared every opportunity you have. You know, so he's at an age now where um, he hasn't. He's not like a hard practicer. You know, he doesn't work extremely hard yet. He's very natural when he plays. But I told him, I said, if you're going to ever be great. You know, like talent takes you to the doorstep to ever go through your your work ethic is what's going to get you there. So that's that's really all. That's really it. I said, you work you work your butt off and you can make it happen. 
Hell yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's, yeah, I know. It's extremely hard, and that's the that's the part that I struggle with because my kids have a lot different life than I had. I feel like I had to, I had to do, I had to work hard and, and do those things because I was in a different situation. I felt the pressure as a kid. You know, my parents giving up everything that they had for me to perform. My kids aren't. That's not. They don't feel that pressure. So, teaching grit. I don't know if, I don't know if there's a such thing. But I try to put. In, I I try to apply enough pressure as a parent to keep him accountable for what he wants to accomplish. He told me, he said, Dad, I want to be better than you. I want to be a you know, PJ Tour player. I want to be the best player in the world. And so I try to be, I just try to hold him accountable at the end of the day as a parent and as a father. That's what my dad did for me, you know, was held me accountable to try to accomplish great things. I told him that's what I wanted to do. My son is impressed on me that that's what he wants as well. So I, I have to try to be tough on him to hold him accountable to teach him that hard work and grit it's not easy though you know because we're working at the course and then we can go eat at a steakhouse later and he sees all the glamorous life that we live but he didn't see what I was going through 25 years ago you know he didn't see the work and that's the other thing with social media like the hard part about social media with my kids is they're seeing like finished products they, they get entertainment at their fingertips and they're seeing the finished products of Steph Curry and, and LeBron James it's so hard for me to like tell them and, and have my son understand like the hours and thousands and millions of hours that they put in to to get to where they are is is really where, what it's all about. That journey there, you know, everybody knows who they are now, but that's the tough part for me about you know being trying to teach my son to not even follow in my footsteps. I want him to be the greatest. I want him to be better than I am. Um, but that grit it has to come. I think it's in more of an innate thing. Um, but I, I can try and put him in the environment. That's all I'm trying to do, in the mindset to do to be to be great. Yeah. He hasn't come close yet, but I say yet because I know it's going to happen. He's really good. He hits it. His ball speed. Well, I give him shots. Yeah, yeah, I give him shots. And right now we're down to like nine, ten shots for 18 in a in a match play. If we're playing stroke play, it'd be a lot more just because he has still has a couple blow up holes. But uh, we're about nine nine shots on match play right now. So mine, I don't know. I think at my home course it'd probably be plus six or seven. Um, yeah, but he's he's coming. Like he's this summer. I see. I feel like he's worked harder this summer than he has in the past. Some of the things that hopefully that I've tried to teach him through example and and words have are trying to start to get ingrained. You know, he's still 12, but. Uh, all the kids, they're so good these days. You know, there's so many good players, so many great players. And I keep telling my son, like, look, at the end of the day, like, your competition is everybody, you're not just the 11, 12 year olds. And if you're not doing it, you know, somebody else is. The same thing my dad told me, you know, if you're not out there working, somebody else is. And so it's starting to click with him. And I'm excited, you know, for him. He, he loves golf, he's passionate about it. And I hope, uh, I hope someday he gets what he deserves. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like I feel like I've always been I feel like I've always been a hard worker, but I I wasn't passionate about golf until I was about my son's age. So I didn't work at being a great golfer. I think until I was about 12 or 13. That's when I truly focused on one sport, you know, because I was playing flag football and basketball, but I fell in love with golf then and and so I'm kind of like torn because a lot of people are like, "Well, passion is going to, you know, get you there and but my dad had to pretty much kick my ass for the first 3 4 years while I was learning how to play because he had to keep telling me this is if this is what you want to do like you better get your butt up and start working he had to do that for years and then it clicked in my mind that oh yeah I do love this game I'm winning like let's you know let's make this a thing so at the end of the day again it's my my career is a lot different than my son's He's got a whole different upbringing than I had, but I'm trying to teach him this, some similar lessons that I kind of learned along the way. Hopefully it pays off for him. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. All right.